Level four sound assessment. So this assessment has three playing portions and then a few written portions. So the playing portions are slightly different for each instrument. So you will have to jump ahead in this video to your particular instrument. Look down in the comments below or in the descri description below so you can see where you need to go. This is the violin portion. So violinists, starting with playing test number one, you have E string things. We are in the key of G, so you're gonna have low twos. You're gonna have to get that second finger down. It's piano, so don't push the sound too much. Okay, you're gonna go nice and slow. Look at it, E, F sharp, G natural, A, B, B, A, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. In. You got one, two, three, four. Again, you've got to get that low two. You cannot stretch that second finger out. Okay, no, playing test number two. Still in the key of G, but we're starting on a C down here. On your, your G string. And we're gonna be playing through at a moderate pace. We're gonna keep it at 72, keep it nice and easy. Here you go. So C, C, D, E, F, G, 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 C. G, C, G, C, F, E, D, e, e, C. And it is gonna sound weird. Okay? Yeah. One, two, ready, and. Again, you have to watch out for those staccatos. You got two short bows. Watch out for those staccatos. Finally, playing test number three. You've got hook bows, you've got staccatos, you've got all this stuff. We're in the key of D now, nice and easy. Here you go. Speed our tempo up a bit. We are Allegro, so 120. One, two, three, one, ready, and. So that's the tempo that we want to go. Let's try it with our slower 72 tempo. One, two, three. And those are the three playing tests. So make sure that you really work on them, that you really pay attention to what finger pattern you're using. Viola. So your three playing tests, very similar to the violin if you watch through that. The th big difference though is, is that the first playing test is on your D string, nothing crazy. They're up on their E string, you're down on your D string. So this should be pretty easy. E, F sharp, G, A, B, B, A, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Two, three, soft. Okay, nice and easy. Playing test number two. Same thing as the violin, you're on your G string. We're not doing any C string right now, G string. And you do have F sharps, so it's gonna sound kind of funny. And here you go. 
C, C, D, E, F sharp, G, 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 C. G, C, G, C, F, E, D, E, C. So watch the staccatos. Make sure they're short, and then you got some legatos. Make sure they're as long as possible. Two, ready, and... nice and easy. Playing test number three, hook bows, key of D major, pretty straightforward. Here's the tempo we're shooting for. Ready. One, two, three, one, ready, and. Now let's try it with our slower tempo. One, two, three. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you look through them, you keep those finger patterns correct. Cellists. So again, playing test number one, pretty straightforward. You start off on E, F, G, A, B, B. The violins are up on their E string. We're just using our D strings. Um, and we're just gonna walk our way through this playing test number two. So here we go, tempo. Make sure that you're in right there in tune. One, two, ready, soft. Pretty straightforward. Playing test number two, staccatos. Make sure that you're keeping those staccato dots. You've got, you know, short bows. Now let's uh, let's just run through C C D E F sharp. So it's going to sound a little weird. G G G C G C G C F sharp E D E C. So it's a lot of C on your G string. Okay, here we go. Uh, slowly, two, ready, staccato. So that's playing test number two. Playing test number three is faster, allegro. We are in the key of D and we're also in three, four. So we're getting some more hook bow stuff. Here's the tempo we want. Ready? One, two, three, one, ready, and. So that's the tempo we want. You got to watch for that forte and that mezzo forte. They do change uh, dynamics. Let's try it one more time, a whole lot slower. Here we go. One, two, three. Bass, the violins for playing test number one are up on their E string. We're still just going to be on our D string walking our way up. Um, <clears throat> nice and soft, not too loud. We're in the key of G, so standard position. Okay, here we go. And one, two, ready, and.
nothing crazy there. Playing test number two. So first off, again, key of G, still two, we're in two, four. We got staccatos, short bows. Keep that short bow, that separated note. So we're in, we've got C's, but we're gonna use an F sharp and it's gonna sound kind of weird. So here we go. Playing test number two. One, two, ready, and. Also, you got to watch out for that G to C. You could theoretically go to second position and get your G right here in your C first finger. Or you can do the big string crossing. It's going to be cleaner once you learn it to do second position. Finally, playing test number three, quite a bit faster. We're going to pick the tempo up. Mm -hmm. So here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, and. Now that is pretty fast and you got some slurs and some hooks and things like that. Uh, let's try it one more time at 72. Yeah, one, two, and now one of the things you could do for that slur in the second to last measure you could get up here to this second and pivot position, F sharp, G, and then A, instead of doing the string crossing. 